Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. New stop with the new Hello, London. Hello, everyone. All right. So, it's another wonderful day down here at the new stop down there in Georgia. <laughs> Up here in Ohio, Ohio Earl in Michigan. All right. I'm silly today. Okay. <laughs> We have some fun topics. How are you doing, Miss Denise? First of all, I am doing fine. It is hot here in Georgia. It is very, very hot. It's this. That's why I say we're trying to be cool. We're just trying to. We are trying to be cool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I see this shadow. Okay, that shadow was kind of bothering me. Then makes me think I should have left the shadow there <laughs> <laughs> to cover up. Hi. All right, as you can see, Miss Denise and I are both are want to be on the chill side of things. <laughs> so, um, idea today that I had that put Miss Denise and I was going to talk about, and one what the first topic is how to save money while you broke and be broke. And when I said that to somebody in the family, they said, "Now I'm not advertising for these people." I said, "How to save money while you broke." Somebody said, Dollar Tree. <laughs> Everybody out there probably gonna like, yo. But I just wanted to give you a couple of tips, uh, really, on how to save, how you can save money. And everybody may not agree because everybody's different. You know, a lot of times you will say save money. You think, you know, sometimes we think we say save money. Oh, I gotta be able to put hundreds and hundreds of dollars in the bank every month. But you know, there's a scripture in the Bible that says those are faithful over thing, few things are rules of money, over rules over many. Then there's there's a scripture that I don't have it right now, but it all it speaks of it speaks of um that if you save small amounts, it will grow big. So I just want to tell you some ideas that might help you, even if you say, Okay, I don't have a lot of money, I'm on the broke side, seems like. I got enough to get by. But if you, every time you go to the store, and now the COVID, oh, I can really do this more. When COVID came, you know, you didn't get, you, you didn't mess with the change and all that. Matter of fact, it was running out of change, like, you know, all that kind of stuff. But now, and what I did prior to that, and I said, I'm going to, I'm gonna, I got to, I got to do something. I got to save something. If it's only a dollar, every time you get something, like you pay all your bills and say, okay, I only got $3 left, put it away. And then act like you just don't have it. <laughs> then if you keep doing that, that money will surprisingly build up. And sometimes it goes faster than you think it should. Do you think it would? Another thing along with that is like every time you buy something, you get you might get a couple quarters, a couple dimes, a few pennies. And if you just toss it, just toss it away. And that's like instead of me leaving the change in my purse or adding up the change and going to spend the change. Just want to come to the change, take the change, and put it away. And uh, I think one time I did that for about two months, two, three months. And I said, well, let me go. Then, you know, you're going, okay, now I didn't save all this change. You'd be surprised how much change it really is, more than you even think it's going to be. And then, you know, you get a dollar or two, throw the dollar or two in there. You might get a five one day, throw a five in there. And I'll say in three, three four months' time, I had... I'm talking about not just really be saving big clunks of money, but just to get it, get a, get a little seed started. So when I decided to uh, go deposit, of course, I had to take the change and put it in the machine so it would print out a receipt of how much change that was. So one time I, I put all that in there and I, I don't know, I don't mean much money to buy, really. I had, uh, well, I had about $50, $60 worth of coins. They're printed out on the receipt. So I had that. And then other little dollar bills I put together. So I was able to deposit and start a very small deposit. And I'm like, oh. So if you start doing something like that, and then just don't go back and touch it. Don't go back and touch it. Just act like you just don't have it. And that's how 
you'll start saving your little seed money. People, what, the, what do people call that? They call it, um, I forgot because it's a little small name for just a little bit of money. So if you keep saving pennies, dime, don't you see a penny on the floor, pick it up. I, I just see my mother do that. You know, she walking down the street. We're a little kid, like, mama, like, oh, let me get that penny. Oh, let me get that dime. Oh, let me get it. You know, now you see a quarter. That, that's, you're going to pick that quarter. Even a whole quarter dime. Even a nickel. But, you know, some people just bypass the pennies. But those pennies add up. And so this is just a little bitty tips on how you maybe can start you a little seed money building thing. And if you don't touch it, now imagine if you do that for six months to a year, you're going to like, wow, I got, yeah. Makes you feel like, okay, I'm going to keep doing this because the next plan is you might want to um, get something that you really need. You know, some people do Christmas money. The way it's economy is sometimes, sometimes, <laughs> like, you're going to be doing that. Chris, where the Christmas money at? <laughs> you ready for Christmas? Uh, huh? Not yet. <laughs> it's like Christmas is right around the next month. Uh, you know, so we, we sometimes we find a way to put it together. But it's just tips on, it, I guess the bottom line. Appreciate your change, save your change, um, and don't don't feel like you have to save so much money in built bulks like hundred dollar bill, you know, two three hundred dollars, even fifty dollars. Sometimes you can't. Sometimes it's tight. You don't see that twenty dollars getting saved, but you might, you know, whatever you have left after which you bought. Sometimes you stop into the gas station. You might say, okay, I'm gonna get a candy bar. Okay, so you get a candy bar. Now candy bars is not what it used to be. Uh, but if you say you have five dollars, you buy candy bar now, maybe like almost two dollars, uh, two dollars, uh, over a dollar for one. I don't know. You have that change left. Take the change, tuck it away, tuck it away. Pennies, quarters, nickels, dimes, and keep doing that. And you'll look around, you know, you used to call it the piggy bank, your, your little piggy jar, your in whatever you want to put it in, and and put it away so you can't see it. And put it away so nobody else can see it either. You know, family members are like, ooh, I think, ooh, I see a couple of $5 bills. And so I'm about to go to the store. Mm -mm. You got to hide, you got to put it up and hide it. <laughs> and that's how that little seed money will build. And you see, you know, you have you, you have a little nest, a little small nest, which is encouraging because it encourages you as it grows to continue to put it away. So in the future, you might need it to buy a car. You might need to do something might come up, or you might something special you want to do. But like, wow, you know, I got I got that seed money. I've been saving it for six months or a year. I'm gonna turn it over to Miss Miss Denise Scott because I know this is Denise Scott. You got some nice tips on that. How to save money when you're broke, <laughs> <laughs> and how to save money when you're not broke. But really, we're talking about when you're done. When it just seems like you just can't do it. I I. I believe there's a way. Oh yeah, oh yeah. My husband believes in that. He um, he gets a uh, a jar like if you go to the liquor store and get you a nice size bottle, um, quarters, dimes, nickels, pennies, and at the end of the year, it actually is like three to four hundred dollars that you're saving in that jar wow. because every day that he comes home from work, he's emptying out his pockets and whatever changes in there. That's what goes in the jar. So that is really a good tip. Um, when I started my paparazzi business, um, I was told, you know, like to get you some envelopes or whatever. And because every week is not going to be like a roses and candy kind of payday. Right. So you're able to like put two, three dollars in here, put car or put, you know, set you some goals, like have a car or vacation or a Christmas fund, you know. And save as you go, and you will really, really see it at the end of the year. Um, and if you're able to, especially save those dollars and those five dollars, um, and try not to spend them because it does add up at the end of the year. You're able to see a big, big difference. Um, yeah, that's about it. I love to shop at Family Dollars, and um, it's fashion, you know, because I am an entrepreneur, and everybody can't go to get their nails done. So I do them myself. That cuts back on costs. Find things that you can cut back on costs on. Um, bills come first. Your kids come first. You know, clothes, supplies, all of those things. But if you can cut back on certain things that you love to do, like going to um, 
Starbucks two or three times a week, you know, that you can save money that way. You know, uh, if you need going to get your hair and your nails done, try to do it yourself instead of going out there because $150 to get your hair done nowadays, that's a lot of money. Um, so there's different ways that you can cut down. You can also journal again, write down your goals, what you're trying to save, uh, what you're trying to spend for those six months or that year. And you'll see a major difference. And I'm going to take it back to you, London. Wow. That was very good. Very good tips. I like that she had a number for you, like at the end of the year, if you empty your pocket every day, three, four hundred dollars. That, that is definitely not bad. That's very good. Oh, um, yes. Thank you. Like, mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. It's like, it's like three or four jars that he has. And so one year he just emptied one and that was like two or three hundred dollars. But if you take three or four of those, you have a lot of money. You're having about five. That sounds pretty awesome to me. So that's yeah. what, hold on. We don't 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 think you have to have a, a large amounts to save. Just stay, do what you can and stick with it and stick with it and stick with it. Now, also when I come, we come back another time, I would like to have tips on how to um, if you have any past due bills, even from a couple through few years ago, you had some type of hardship. And uh, some things that that went kind of south or west or east, whatever you call it, and uh, you owe the people. And so we're going to talk about how don't avoid them. We have to face up to what we need to do. But how to how to take care of your own bills? Some people do bankruptcy, but there's other ways to be able to help yourself. We'll come back. That's like a business tip and business and home tip on how to take care of that. Now I'm a witness. I want to tell you the greatness of it all. And uh, you'd be surprised what you can do. It's almost like part of that savings, but it's another way to do things. Now, the other one we're going to do, you know, this is prayer night. So we're going to pray about everybody's pocketbook. We're going to pray about finances and all. We pray that the Lord to bless each and every one of you and us and all of us. Uh, we want to thank him for what he's doing, first of all, because he is so awesome to us. And um, bless our needs and bless us to be disciplined to be able to do those things so that we can actually do some things for ourselves. Uh, so also now this, this is another topic. Uh, actually my daughter came up with this and she said, mm, I got a topic, hot tips on how to stay cool. And right about now, things that miss, miss, miss Denise, you got some hot tips on how to stay cool. <laughs> well, <laughs> um, please stay hydrated. Get you some water. Uh, I love going to get some spring water that is just like the best water in the world. Yes, I take it out with me. I have to go out there in that 99 degree heat in Georgia. Um, but even investing like a little fan that might go around your neck, you know, or a little fan that you can carry. Like back in the day, we used to love the little fans that you towed it around. It might have a little pretty little prayer on it or something. I still carry mine around because, again, that heat is something else. Mm -hmm. Um Wear light clothing, no long sleeves. I mean, some do say that long sleeves help with the sun, but try to wear light clothing as light as possible. Well, not too light, you know, but light clothing. Um, stay hydrated if you can. If you're elderly, try to stay in as much as you can because our body temperature, you know, once your body rises with that heat, you know, that's how heat strokes and things can happen, um, especially if you have heart conditions. Wow. Wow, that was a very good tip. Kind of piggyback off of which uh, you said, Denise, is when you go out and try to dress. I, mean, I don't even dress this light, but I'm light today. <laughs> anyway, uh, but when you go out in the sun, they say like um, white and cotton. Cotton clothing helps you stay cool. But at the same time, they say when you go out in the sun, don't wear dark clothes because it draws the heat. And if you wear something, like you're saying, light, even light in color and cotton or linen, preferably, then you will stay cooler. So it's all different kind of ways to do that. You know, shade. Sometimes you just need to be still for a minute. <laughs> if you feel yourself getting hot, a little sweaty, you know, and, uh, you can always take like a a, a cool washcloth. And, and that, that, that's a refresher. Also, like that, I love the water. Who the water with the ice in it? 
sometimes oh yeah I'll, I'll i'll have it next time perhaps if we talk about this you know the old mason glasses that the people had when we were growing up you know they used to have old mason jars they fill it up with ice they put mm. out. i remember watching them older people sit back i mean it was so cold the glass was sweating it was, <laughs> oh but it was so nice and cold so you know, nowadays, the mason glasses sound like a trendy thing to use. Um, but that's some old school stuff. <laughs> I didn't do it, but I got a chance to watch the older the older generation do it. And now I look at it now, you know, that's a trendy thing to have a mason glass for dessert, a mason glass for this. And also, definitely, I'm thinking about drinking some ice cold water. I had some today. And you know what? It, I got cooled down real good. Um, I also have one tip that if you get feel a little dehydrated, Times you could be dehydrated and you really don't know, and it could be that you're tired or your joints or your body you might have a body aches and different things. If it's really warm, especially, I always try to keep something like Pedialyte around in the house. That's things that your babies with babies dehydrated, but the Pedialyte will uh, replenish your electrolytes. So if you can keep something like that, or they have knockoff, you go and get something. But anyway, something like Pedialyte. <laughs> And if you don't have that, even not some of the, the power drinks, power aids, you know, Gatorade and all that. Like, once again, when that turn advertise, waiver, <laughs> it, it's to tell you <laughs> that some things like that will help sports drinks, you know, help help um, with that. Don't forget watermelon, if you like watermelon now. And I didn't know that bananas hydrate you as well. And I believe I should know that because I know that if you have a bout with diarrhea, you take the because uh, now dehydration also can cause the you to feel get, um, when you start having diarrhea, that means the de- a lot of times it could be dehydration. And so you think, okay, so then you, they say, and I've tried this too, you take a banana, they call it the Brat Diet, B R A T. So it's, it's banana, rice, clear rice, don't put anything in it, just cook it, um, applesauce, and toast no butter and so you put those three four together and it'll help check that it'll help hydrate you at the same time but it'll help check the diarrhea so it's, remember get it like that it's called the brat diet b-r-a-t banana rice applesauce and toast you take a piece of white toast and now no not wheat toast now not that kind of you know okay it's make you regular no just some white toast and white bread and toast it and that'll help you um with that it could be caused from something else but whatever it's caused from a lot of times dehydration will cause you to run to the bathroom too much it's those are different signs sometimes we don't even realize so you know stay cool and like the news people if you don't have to go out don't go out <laughs> if you can't stay in stay in if for those that don't have uh you know just regular air conditioning all the time uh there's other ways to stay. drink that get that mason glass size water get you one of those nice good couple good fans you know and dress light at home you can be real light as you want to and if you sit down and relax so you so everything can just calm down calm down and uh you know if you crack the door a little bit and there's a uh, different kind of little breeze coming in not when we're not when it's hot another tip if it's really humid outside it's not a good time to open up windows and doors because all that heat gonna pour right into your house you keep your shades closed you know all those different different things we hope these t- tips help you help you so i want to say miss denise i know you're gonna stay cool thank you so much and i know, I know this is saving money tips somebody heard that i like that one jar, three to four hundred dollars. Two jars, you got about five. Ooh, I gotta see what these jars look like. One day you're gonna show me what the jar look like, so I know you oh, are yeah, they are nice, they're nice, <laughs> nice size. Nice size. Is it like yeah. the pickle, the big pickle jars? Uh a pickle jars, yeah, something like that. Okay, about that time. Okay, well, yeah, that's a lot of <laughs> woo. That'd be kind of fun to watch that grow. Incredible. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, folks. This is uh the wonderful new stop with Denise Stop in Denise Scott in London. And we wish you well. And we got we're gonna keep on praying about all these things because God can bless you to be victorious 
you can be an overcomer then you, he'll bless you to have things that you don't think you can have and he'll, and he'll teach us how to do those things and we thank you mr not denise we hope everything goes well with you up there stay cool stay cool everybody and wear those hats <laughs> oh yes see ya love you everybody love you denise love you